All right, guys. Got my new starter in. It's uh, it's about half the weight of the other one, and uh, I'm hoping that it works like it should work. It's kind of been dropped around in there a little bit. Everything kind of pinched up. Anyway, I'm going to figure out what size nuts these are. I don't think that's a 5 8 like that other one. That's a little like a 7 millimeter. I'm try to get this thing bowed down. That thing's made for a 168 2 flywheel, which is what I got. So, yeah, we got this. Uh, it wasn't cheap. I actually got a pretty good, little bit better deal on eBay than I we went through Summit and got, but it's the same starter Summit sales. And it also came with new starter bolts, which is nice because you're supposed to replace your starter bolts anytime you change out the starter. Unfortunately, I hadn't had the extra bolts, which I'm hoping might be the reason I'm having the issues. I don't know. It also came with a shim, but it's a straight shim, which you can still use. You just got to go sideways, but I've got some offset shims if I need it, and I'll use those. So, uh, we're going to get on here. I'm going to get up under there and show y'all what I'm dealing with with this other starter. Anyway, your solenoid is down here where the drive gear is, and your motor is up high where your solenoid would be. And it's a gearbox in here that's got a, like a 4.4 to 1 reduction ratio in it. So it's very light compared to these big monsters. Yeah, probably a third of the weight, to tell you the truth. And a whole lot smaller, I mean. Oop, dropped my damn boat. But yeah, it's... Uh, I don't know if y'all said that need a high compression type starter but this engine is not really supposed to be that high compression uh, maybe nine to one or nine and a half it's not a it's not one you got to run premium on but it ain't supposed to be anyway so I'm not sure if y'all can really tell you got to stick something in there and bring that solenoid back. But you can kind of see the shavings right there. And, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know. It, don't, it looks to me like it's only catching on half the flywheel. I can't really see for this damn light bending on me. So that wheel just don't, it don't come out all the way. Yeah, I don't know if y'all can tell, but the edge of this flywheel is over the edge of the where the wheel would go, with the cog right there. So, anyway, we're going to pull this little gun back down, unwire it, and get this other one back in there. Stay tuned. Alright guys, I got this damn starter mounted. I got a shim under it, but... It still is only contacting three quarters of the damn flywheel. And that's as far out as it'll go. And uh, when I turn it loose, it don't want to retract. So, I don't know what's going on with it. It's got plenty of clearance. It's supposed to have 40 thousandths clearance between the bottom of this uh, flywheel and the tip of this blade. Mm. About to drown. It's got that and a little bit more. The reason I put that shim in there. I am going to have a little bit of damn clearance issues. That son of a gun is going to get hot. I can't get my finger between it. And the, and the header and these wires are going to be right here fingers width from the damn header 
so they're going to get damn hot as hell. <coughs> I can flip it back in, but I don't know. I mean, you can tell, or I can see it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. How much wire that sun gun's already got on I'm it. hoping this thing ain't warped. Because if it's warped, then we've got other issues. We've got plenty of clearance between this ring gear and the flywheel. It's supposed to have a 100, 100 thousandths of an inch. So that's, that's plenty there. No problem. Well, I guess I'm going to finish hooking it up and uh, wiring these up and, and putting a battery on it, see what it'll do. Alright guys, got that starter wired up. Let me tell you, I tell you, it's about as tricky to wire this one up as it was the, the original. It's probably because of those wires, if y'all can tell. The wires come down. I know the this camera shakes on high zone. Those wires come down and have to curl under the starter to get to the other side. And they're not as protected as it was on this one. So, got the battery hooked back up. And uh, we're going we're gonna to try to fire it up. See what that starter's going to do. Yellow jackets flying around me over here. Get away from me. I don't like yellow jackets. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to try to get y'all a good viewing post here. I'm going to get this damn tripod set up. 